Hey guys, Tom here, and I'm just going to do another quick uh, inking technique tutorial with uh, Clip Studio Paint Pro. Now I'm working on the Microsoft Surface Pro 2, which has 1024 levels of pressure sensitivity with the Wacom digitizer. So anyway, um, some people ask uh, how you do the double, what I call a double-ended taper for inking. Some of this technique is good for shading and hair and stuff like that. And um, the big reason is because, you know, you could take advantage of the pressure sensitivity of um, the, uh, the Microsoft Surface Pro 2. And you can do this on a regular Wacom drawing pad, too. But basically, you just want to go um, thin to thick to thin. You know, some a lot of times inking strokes, you can have thick to thin or thin to thick or thick to thin to thick like that um, but a lot of people ask about the double-ended taper so I'll try to explain best I can how I do that um, the brush I'm using is uh, if you go down here it's a it's a Richard Frendon uh, inking brush and you can download that from his site I'll put his site in the information box but it's called inker hairpin sable is what I like to use in my work now there's a version 2 right underneath it and um, you know they they have different versions of um, inker sable brushes 99.9% .9 of the time I'm using the inker hairpin sable and um, I might have tweaked its settings a little bit here you can see my settings for the brush um, I think these are default but if you go in the settings and you click on this three dots, the three dotted triangle. You can actually mess with your pen pressure and the output. In other words, the more pressure you put on your pen when you're drawing, um, you can control how much flows out the harder you press. Now, I'm not going to mess with that because for me, I think it's already perfect for my use, but your mileage may vary. Okay, let's get to it. Um, with the surface, uh, Pro 2 or any tablet, the, the hard thing to overcome compared to a real traditional brush is um, when you're going to do a fat line with a real brush, the, the hairs on the real traditional brush will flex against the surface. So you don't really feel it, you know. Um, with the surface, however, with a hard surface like this, I mean, you can actually hear the tip of the pen hitting the surface. So that makes it a little tricky. The trick I found is to glide the tip um, just really graze the surface your drawing surface with the tip of the pen and you can get um, fairly smooth strokes now there is a learning curve you're gonna have to train your uh, muscle memory and uh, you're just going to have to get used to the distance of the pen tip to the surface to really get a feel for it. If you try to press too hard, you crash it down too hard, it's going to actually disrupt your flow. You just want a nice smooth stroke that just grazes right across the surface, lift up, repeat that motion like uh, you're on autopilot, like a machine, okay? Like right here. You can get different widths as you as you train your um, your muscle memory and your coordination. Okay, so that's a trick. If you try to press down too hard, too fast, you're just going to crash the tip the tip right into the surface, and it's going to disrupt your rhythm. And that's the key: is to develop a rhythm. Um, the key you don't want to really um, be a slave like to the penciler's lines. And I'm going to make some pencil strokes here. Let me pick the pencil tool and let's say the penciler has laid down these lines well another trick is you don't want to pay so much attention to those lines you just kind of want to get a rhythm and let it fall into place naturally because one chances are the penciler is not going to pay that much attention to whether you followed his lines or her lines and two the final product uh, the reader is never going to see the pencil lines to even know whether you followed them correctly so just kind of you can do a practice run just hover the pen and just kind of get a feel for the spacing and then just 
graze and keep that rhythm. Okay? So just graze the tip. I'm going to do another diagram. Here's the surface, and here's the pen. Okay? And this is like the, the surface of your tablet. And you just want to do a smooth arc and a graze. Now, what if the, the, the thickness in the middle of your stroke isn't as thick as you want it? You know, what if you're only getting strokes like that when you really want strokes like that? Well, obviously, one thing you can do is to press harder, okay? At least on this machine, you can press harder and it'll... But the thing is, the harder you press, the more chances you have to disrupt your stroke, okay? Because you just want to graze. So there's two things you can do. One, um, you can actually mess with the uh, um, opacity settings and the pressure settings, as I've shown here. Or, two, the other obvious thing to do is to actually simply increase, right now I'm on 120, but you can actually increase your brush size because increasing your brush size in this program, you can actually get fatter lines with the same amount of pressure just by increasing your size. You don't have to press as hard. Now it takes a little bit of training and muscle memory to get used to that. But that is my tip for the day. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, please ask. I'll do my best to respond. Uh, please like and subscribe for more future tips on art, inking, photography, whatever. Thank you. Bye.